I want to talk about today one of my favorite things that I do that makes my day as productive as possible, that makes my day of success easy to accomplish, right? In this current world of constant distraction, of the internet, of things that, you know, distract you in general, right? It's hard to get work done today. Like, let's, let's be honest, right? With your phone, with your laptop, there's constantly things that will distract you and will take your attention away from the things that need to be done, right? So how do we combat that? How do we get things done despite that thing? This is a topic that most people call designing your environment, right? And it's not just the typical things like, oh, keep your phone away, keep your phone in a drawer, turn your phone up, whatever it is, right? It's beyond that, right? It goes beyond, you know, how your environment looks. It goes beyond the basics, right? So let me just talk about that first of all, right? If you want to do something more, make it easier to do. If you want to do something less, make it harder to do. That's the basics, right? The basic things in life that will allow you to achieve success in whatever realm you want to. A classic example that I like to tell people is when I like guitar, right? When I like guitar, one of the first things I did, or one of the best things I did to help me learn the quickest was when I bought a guitar stand, right? Because before I got a guitar stand, I had to put my guitar away in a bag, in a cupboard, out of the way where it was very inaccessible and very hard for me to kind of get it out every time and play it, right? But when I got a guitar stand, it was out on display ready for me to pick up at any time of day and play, right? It was so easy for me that I ended up doing it just out of boredom, right? And so I pick it up every time, five minutes here, five minutes there, and then some of those five minutes would turn into an hour, two hours, right? I'd spend a lot of time playing guitar just in the day, right? It'd accumulate over time in the day, I'd spend like, you know, two, three hours, by accident playing guitar because I made it so easy for myself, right? But that sounds familiar, doesn't it? You can spend three, four, five hours by accident on Instagram, on TikTok, on these various kind of platforms that are designed to distract you, to take your time away from you, right? You realize that? And so, This is something that we need to pay attention to as well. Instagram, TikTok, what do we do, right? How do we, how do we get rid of that in our lives? That always exists, right? There's multiple ways to go about this and there's no like wrong or right way, right? There's, there's things that work for you. There's things that don't work for you, right? What I recommend is the ultimate way, okay? Delete the app, delete your account on the app, delete the app of your phone, never touch it altogether. And if you really want to get on there, use a browser on your laptop because the browser on your laptop is so much less addictive, so much less impulsive, right? If you really want to go in there and message someone and you really need the account for that, then use the browser because all the functionality is there. Instagram, TikTok, you can use it as much as you want but it's not impulsive. There's no app or icon on your home screen that you're like, oh, TikTok, I'll click on that, right? That's that's how you act in your brain, isn't it? But with a browser, it's blank, new tab. Like, oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna Google some word I don't know. I'm not gonna like type in tiktok.com or whatever it is. I'm not gonna type in instagram.com impulsively, right? It's far less likely for that to happen than for you to click on the icon that says Instagram for you to click on the icon that says TikTok, right? Secondarily, if we're gonna stick to the phone, let's let's just say this, right? Aeroplane mode, right? Aeroplane mode is one of the best things I discovered from Tim Ferriss, right? Aeroplane mode means that nothing comes into your phone. No messages, no signal, no data, no Wi-Fi, nothing, no Bluetooth. Nothing can come into your phone so you get nothing. No notifications, no 
inbound from anywhere. Anyone saying anything to you, nothing at all, right? No distractions, right? And beyond that, right? Even if you get like offline notification for some reason, like there's some app that offline notif- notifies you at a certain time, like maybe like Duolingo or something like that. I don't know if it notifies like that, but here's a hack for that. Just turn the notifications off for every app, right? For me, I want to be as productive as possible in my life, as much as I can be. And so on my settings, I've gone through every every single app and turned the notifications off for every single one of them, right? All of them. I have no notifications for any app at all. No one notifies me for anything ever, right? And you might be thinking, okay, then like how do you receive messages or what if someone wants to call you what if someone wants to text you like how do you isn't that like an emergency situation that you need to have your phone on you at all times like we lived life pretty normally before smartphones existed we lived life pretty normally before mobile phones even right and we didn't always check our phones all the time right And life was fine. And I'll tell you in my life, even today, I rarely, rarely ever get a moment where, or an occasion where I've missed a very important phone call, right? And someone's been mad at me for it. Like, oh, you missed my phone call, you missed my text. That's fine, that happens in life anyway, right? When you're in the shower, when you're doing work, whatever, it's fine. People are fine with that. You can check it later. You can have a scheduled time in the day. If you really want to stay on top of your messages, you can say, okay, I'll check it every three hours, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, etc. right? You can do that if you want to, right? Number three, if there's numbers here, right? So airplane mode, notifications, number three, just turn your phone off, right? There's no impulse to kind of go back on your phone and like even turn airplane mode off and then like go on YouTube or go on TikTok or whatever, right? Turn it off. Just that extra boundary of like, oh, my phone's off. It makes you like, oh, I've got to turn it on and then go on TikTok. Forget it, right? That's the extra step that kind of makes your environment so much distraction, so much easier to be distractionless, right? Because now it's easy. Now you've made it so hard for you to access TikTok, it's like, uh, I can't be asked now. And you're more productive. You go back to work. You're like, oh, I'm just trying to find a distraction. I'll go back to work. Right? Same with your laptop, right? Some of these apply across the board, laptop or phone, right? Laptop, most of the stuff you do on there requires internet. So just get rid of notifications. That should help for most cases, for most distractions that you might have. Never allow desktop notifications right a lot of programs you install or or, you know web apps that you have they'll say oh allow desktop notifications it asks you the question okay or or no right always say no never never notify me never distract me from my work is what you're saying basically right don't allow these distractions to come into your life right only allow the ones that you absolutely need that actually help you succeed right another thing you can do is website blockers right to block you from you know like naughty content if you need that or like youtube whatever at certain times of day if you need to there's an app called one sec that i use on my phone that helps to kind of like limit my usage of certain apps i impulsively click on and that also works on the laptop as well right you can get a chrome extension for that let me explain that first of all right one sec it's an app that So when I click on something like YouTube, for example, something that I impulsively click on a lot, I click on that and it makes me wait like five seconds before I can access to YouTube, right? It's like, oh, take a deep breath. And it makes you wait, right? And in that time, it's like, oh, why did I click on YouTube again? Ah, it's just to distract myself. So I just click off of it, right? It's five seconds of blockage, but that's enough time for me to rethink what I'm doing and get back to my productive work whatever I need to do, right? Another thing on YouTube, on the laptop, right? On your browser, 
there is an extension that I use that hides the thumbnails, right? It, just, it blurs them out or grays them out or whatever it is. I don't see thumbnails on my YouTube browser. There's a there's a Chrome extension. I don't know what it's called. It's got something like, you know, uh, thumbnail hider, whatever. You can search it up and look at it. I might put like a text here of what it's called. And that helps me a lot when I'm on YouTube because I'm if I'm on YouTube, I want to be intentional about what I'm watching. I don't want to be distracted by, you know, fancy colors and things like that. I want to search for what I'm searching for. Let's say I'm just trying to work on my bench press. Bench press form video, whatever it is. I search that up and I watch the video that I want to watch, right? And if I am browsing, then I'm not distracted by fancy colors, right? That's an important factor as well. That's very good, right? Um, is there anything else that I use like that? There's things like that that can hide like comment sections so you can don't, don't, don't get distracted by that. There's things that hide. There's various things. I'm not going to list them all right now. Oh, there's also like rearranging your apps on your home screen, right? On my like home screen, there's it's completely blank. The only thing I have is like a notes app, a calendar app, and my photos app. That's the only thing I have on there. On the bottom, like, there's like the main ones like camera, phone, that kind of stuff, right? And beyond that, beyond your phone, your laptop, and the addictions you might have there, there is just spending time away from tech altogether, right? There's time that I spend and schedule in my day so that I don't spend too much time staring at a screen altogether, right? Not my phone, not my laptop, not anything that I might have a screen on in my life, not TV, anything like that, right? So I schedule time to like go for a walk in the morning, go to the gym, go for a drive, record some videos, right? I don't count recording videos as screen time for me, although it might show up on my phone as screen time. That's just, that's being productive for me, right? Time with family, time with friends, right? Spend enough time away from your screen, you'll feel generally better mentally, and it generally correlates with a more productive day in general, right? When you're away from your screen, you can get things done like, you know, you do the washing, you can clean your room, you can do some stretching, and like, you know, you can move about a little bit, right? not stay still in one space all the time, right? And so, and so scheduling that out in the day is something that I found very useful in kind of generally managing my kind of, or our issue as a humanity, our issue with tech, right? Because the thing is, these big tech companies are not on your side. They are not on your team. They want you to be as addicted as possible to these apps and websites as much as possible because they make money from it right they don't care about you right so in this massive warfare that we have fighting against these companies these are some simple tools that you can use to make your life a lot easier for yourself so with that being said i hope those tips can help you in your life today thank you for watching knowledge is power and the power is yours i'll see you in a bit catch you later